America. No, Father! I'm not talking about supply and demand. So we're doing The Devil's Advocate by Donald Freed, one of the great, one of our great American playwrights, one of the great playwrights in the world, actually. Good. He's, a, he's a, a, a brilliant playwright, and it's an amazing, um, it's an amazing portrait of two men, two guys who are complete opposites. Uh, a, a, a guy who, a, a native of Panama, who uh, made himself into the dictator by, uh, of Panama by uh, using all of the resources that the U.S., of course, gave to him because the U.S. wanted to be able to control Panama. So he thought that he could take those things and maybe help his people and, uh, if he became the dictator. And I am the papal nuncio. I am a very high person in the Catholic Church. Uh, I am running the uh, Vatican Embassy in Panama City where the dictator who has been ousted and is being hunted down has come for sanctuary. Forty years ago when you were a young priest, the CIA made its deals with the Sicilian Mafia and the Corsican heroin dealers because they needed an army of thugs who smashed the left-wing unions of France and Italy. And you were there in Italy. And you know that the Vatican worked with the CIA. You smiled. But that is when the drugs started... Based on a real... Yeah. Real historical incident when the U the U.S. invaded Panama, and they invaded Panama ostensibly for to oust the dictator, the tyrant Manuel Antonio Noriega, who was their puppet, who was their puppet and was their man, and was doing the bidding of the United States and the whole um, world powerful elite until he decided to say no. He said no on the invasion of Nicaragua. There you go. Yeah. Which was the Iran-Contra affair. But we're giving you these, the impression that this is all about politics. It's not, it's about two men. And during the course of one night, a very significant, the most significant night in their lives, mm -hmm. um, and how they deal with this, this um, Extraordinary event. Shh. Wake up. Don't die. You got to see the bottom of hell. Just a little further. It's Christmas Eve. Yes. And we have been, uh, we have certainly known each other before this evening. We have been friends. We've been, we've been social anyway. And he comes to the Vatican Embassy to seek sanctuary. So I have uh, all of the responsibility of giving somebody sanctuary plus which the Vatican and the U.S. are uh, in cahoots. Uh, I have to manipulate this guy into giving the right response to this pressure that's being put on him, and that would be that he has to uh, not, he can't have uh, a, a, a asylum in another country. He's got to go to Miami and be tried by the United States government for his crimes. We're all gone. There was nothing left except the coca. The campesinos and their coca. And the war on drugs. Now hear this operation just cause. Stop me when I lie, eminence. Name one lie and I will walk out there and give myself up to those green beanies right this minute. I should, I'm supposed to be honest and take care of the Archbishop. Is the Archbishop. I'm an Archbishop. And, uh, a personal friend, and I have to try. I, I, I believe when the show starts, the evening starts, that I am going to manipulate this fellow, not easily, but hopefully, pretty adroitly into saying, okay, whatever, I'll go to Miami. You think you can make it so they'll go easy on me? My prison term won't be long. I think that I'm going to be, have to do that. I don't know quite what uh, a, a tornado I am taking into my Vatican <laughs> embassy. And uh, he uh, opens my eyes to himself and what a really deep person he is. And he really becomes to represent, for me, I think, as a, as a thinking and caring and very intelligent man, he becomes to represent the soul of Latin America. He uh, really makes me feel how responsible we all are for, you know, the uh, raping of this 
beautiful, lush, made natural place that we just went into and said, we've got to have your stuff. It's all gone in their wars. And now, Western civilization and the church depends on the trade routes, the opium roads, the Camino Real, finding the old world and the new like mother and child, like mother and child, Lucio. It's a miracle, alchemy. You will swear to it, Inquisitor. He makes me feel that. I, 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 I maybe gave it like, you know, lip service or, or some kind of an intellectual understanding, but he makes me feel what we have done. Uh, and so I have to deal with that. I have to deal with the fact that I learned so much more about this guy, this friend, than I knew before he came in. And I still have to do what the church is telling me to do, which is go along with the U.S. and uh, get this guy to Miami. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then you add the, we have about 15 songs. And so ah! We have about and some a dance snaps, number. I'm some still trying to learn. Some snappy tunes, some snappy tunes. It's just Latin dance. I'm very good at Latin dance. <laughs> I get to do a tap dance? Oh, oh yeah. man, the, it's a hot show. They gave him the tap. I, I didn't do tap, <laughs> I, I, but they gave me the Latin 